In this video, we're going to be adding another theme support option, and it's going to be the post formats option. Like WordPress gives you many different theme options you can add to your theme. All you got to do is activate it, turn them on. Like in a prior video, we activated the post thumbnail su support option, and that's right here. So now in this video, we're going to add another one, and this is going to give us the ability to customize our post. Like for example, we have several posts right here, and they all look pretty much the same. But WordPress gives you an option to to select an individual post and customize it and make it look different than the rest of them. So that's what we'll be working on in, in this video. So if we go check out our checklist that I like to have. So first thing first, we're gonna go into the functions.php file, and we're gonna add a function we already used in a prior video, but we're gonna use it again. And we're gonna activate the post formats in our theme. And then we're gonna go and create a couple of views or a couple HTML files and these files will be able to customize them and make them look different than the, the original post we got right here. And then we'll go into the dashboard and we'll go and assign these different formats to our individual posts to make sure we have it activated and then we'll test it. So in this video, we're gonna be using these three functions. Now this one we already used in a prior video and we're gonna actually check that out right now. We're just gonna go in there, copy some of that code in there and just paste it right into our functions.php file. So let's go and online and check out this function right away. So right here is the add theme support function. And I showed you this in a prior video, all the features that this function that you can include into this function. And we're already using the post thumbnails, but in this video, we're going to be using the post formats. And down here is a nice piece of snippet I've seen before. Uh, this right here. I'm just going to copy this and paste this right into our functions.php file. And now if you're uh, wondering all the different options you could apply into this, this function here or this array, you could just click on this link right here, or you could just go down in the description and click on that link and you'll end up the same place, the post formats link. And down here are all the different supported formats. Like uh, I'm going to be using, I guess the link, it doesn't really matter. And the aside in, in this case, but here are the different options you could pick if you want to just check that out. So let's go to our functions.php file, paste this into our project. So inside of the functions.php file, we'll paste this code right below the other add theme support function. So we're basically letting WordPress know that we want to add this post format feature to our theme. So now we need to let WordPress know which ones we want to use. And if we go back to that page we were on, post formats, you could use all nine or you could just use one. I'm going to use the aside and the link. So let's go back to here. So we'll keep the aside and we'll just change this one to link. So now what we want to do is create three different views. One view is going to be just for our standard view, the one we currently have. And then we'll create two more views, one for the aside and the link. And we're going to be creating that inside of the template parts. And this is a folder we created a couple of videos ago. And also inside of the post, that's where we'll put all three of these views. So let's first go and create our content.php. And this is gonna be for our, our standard view. And it doesn't really matter what you name it, um, but I'm just naming it the same that they named it in the 2017 WordPress theme. So content.php. Okay, great. So now we wanna create two more and the next one's gonna be for the aside. So we'll create that. And one more for the link. All right, great. So now we got three different views here. So all this code we're gonna wrap inside of a section tag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that right now. So create a section tag. Okay, great. So we'll just copy this. And let's throw that in these other two here. Okay, great. So now we have a way to target all these through the style sheet and we'll be doing that pretty soon actually. So now let's go and copy our index page and actually we're going to cut a lot of this out of here and just paste it in our files over here. So I'm just going to go and close down this function. We won't be in that anytime soon. So let's close that down. And then inside of our index page, inside of the loop we created in a prior video, we're going to go and cut all this out of here. So cut, 
and then just leave your index page open we're going to be coming back and adding a function in here pretty soon so I guess we'll start in our content.php inside of the section tag this is our standard view so I'll just paste that in there and that's all we're, we're going to pretty much do in this page so now we could go and save this and close this one down and then let's work inside of our link now this one is just going to show a link and so we'll just show the content we'll use the content function and the title that's it so let's go and just paste this in here and we'll get rid of a lot of it actually so let's go get rid of this category the uh we'll leave this div here and just change this to content all right and then we'll pretty much get rid of the rest we'll leave just the uh title i guess And let's tweak the title while we're here. Change that to four and four and we'll four and we'll get rid of the link. We don't need the link anymore. And get rid of this. And we'll get rid of this uh, post thumbnail. All right, so this really gives you a lot of options on customizing it. You can make it look totally different each one of your posts using this post format. So this is really great. So let's just save this. Now we're done inside of this page. So we can close this one down. And let's go uh, finish off our side. And then we'll be ready to work on our index page. So just paste this in here again. Now this the side, we'll just go and um, get rid of this post thumbnail on this one. Get rid of the permalink and then get rid of this link here. We'll just leave the title. And then change this to H4 again. I'm only doing that just to make it look different. It doesn't really matter. And then uh, we'll leave this alone right here and we'll go and get rid of this. I'm just doing all this just so it looks just a little different. All right, save that. So now that we got all our views looking the way we want, now we're ready to attach it to our index page. And WordPress gives us a function for that if we pull up our, our little checklist here. And it's called get template part. And I actually have that in the browser. So let's go and check that out. Let's check out the documentation. We'll also just copy and paste the code out of there. So let's go out to the browser and check that out. The get template part function is a very useful function. You'll find yourself using this a lot. So this function we're going to use to go out and pull in those new views we just created into our index.php file. And I'll show you in a second how, how you could do that. But also we're going to be using this other function called get post formats. So what we're going to do is go into the dashboard. We're going to set what format, what post format to each post. This function is going to figure out what post format is for that post and it's going to pull it into this function so i'll show you that in a second but i was checking this out earlier and there's a nice little piece of snippet right down here somewhere so we're going to put content or the address of the page that we want to pull in then this is going to go and attach the the format onto the end and then that's going to figure out which document to get so like in for example format slash link.php or format slash dot side. So I'll show you that how that works in a second. So let's just copy this. This is a very good piece of code right here. And let's go back to our index page and paste this in there. Inside of the index.php file, we're just gonna paste this right here. And first create the PHP tag and then paste it. Okay, so now we're gonna put the name of the the content file that or actually the address of it the content.php file so we want to go into the template parts then inside of the post folder then content and you don't have to put .php on the end of it it's going to know which file that is so this is our default file so now we want to go and get the post format if there is one so that's going to so let's say we set the post to link this will show up as slash link and that will get attached onto this and it will go get this file. So uh, that's how that's going to work. And that's pretty much all we have to do. So let's go set a couple styles to this. So let's uh, open up our style sheet.
And again, I'm just going to time lapse this. The reason is, is all I'm doing is adding some borders and um, styling our H1, adding some colors. That's pretty much it. And I'll be back in one second. Okay, great. So I added just a bunch of borders and some colors. So you, you can see different post formats that we're using. So they stick out a little, little bit more. So here are all the styles I added. So um, that's pretty much it. So now all we need to do is go to the dashboard after we save this and set to set which post we want to, to be to the link or to the aside. So let's first just run it in the index page, see what it looks like, and then we'll go out and set different post formats to our post. So here we are on the front end, so let's just refresh it, see what it looks like. All right, and as you can see, our content.php file. So this is just our standard file, and the reason we're getting this is because we didn't set any post formats, but we will in a second. But our styles are still not kicking in, so let's go and clear out our cache again. So I'm just going to go up here and then go to more tools and then just clear out your cache. Okay, great. I'm just going to X out of that. That should get our styles to kick in. Okay, great. So now our styles are kicking in. So now let's go to the dashboard and set different post types for some of these posts. So I'm just going to go up to here and then go into our post. And then uh, just select uh, any one you want. Just click Edit. Okay, great. So now over here on the right, you, just, you should see Format. Now this wasn't here before, if, if you remember. But now we could click different formats. Now if this is not showing up for you, just go up here. And then click on Formats right here. And that should turn it on over here on the right. So just make sure you do that. So now for this one, just let's just go and click uh, Aside. That'd be fine. And then hit update. Okay, great. And then we'll go out and we'll change another post. So go back to all posts. And I guess this second one here, and as you can see, there's that little icon here now. So that's great. So let's just go click on files. And then over here, I'm just gonna click link. And then I'm just gonna change this to like a link or something. So get rid of this. And then uh, YouTube or something, doesn't matter. All right, great. Okay, so hit update. Okay, so great. So now if we go back to the front end and we refresh it, these two up here on the top should change actually. Okay, great. So as you can see, now we're using the content aside PHP instead of the content.php. And then also now on the second one here, we got a link and we got different styles. And then this is the content link PHP file that's being pulled in that view so it's all working so great so that is how you pull in different post formats so now in the next video we're going to be working on pagination and that's what we'll be setting up in the next video so I'll see you then